What's going on guys? Welcome to mobility number three. Okay, so check this out. Just like every other one. Now, here, here's the thing, like you may, you know, you may have liked one and or two and want to do those frequently, frequently and make them a ritual. That's awesome, that's great, right? We're doing three so that there's some variability. You might see some of the similar things, but we're definitely touching on some things that we haven't done before. And, and that's part of it. I think one of the main things that we want to work on obviously is to be able to have variability in our movements and to be able to have control and things of that nature. So that's why we're doing three different, I would say, mobility uh, sessions and flows in this program. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a couple of different things. I got a pad, now the thing is if you guys don't have the pad, uh, that's perfectly fine. You can do, you know, be on a towel, be on a, a mat, something. This is just kind of like because we're gonna push our knee into the ground. This is like a great drill. Like if you have tight hips, uh, you know, you get kind of wound up in the front, you're sitting a lot, even if you're standing a lot, very, very similar. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna create a ton of tension and then release, okay? So here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get myself into this position where, I actually give you guys a side view here, okay? So you can see that I have kind of like a 90, 90 degree, okay? Uh, if you can have open foot, definitely have open foot. Uh, if that's kind of getting your calf tight, you can stay in this position too. Okay, I'm gonna keep it open. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start pushing the back of my shoelaces essentially into the ground. That's my thought process. Now when I push my shoelaces and my knee, so I push my shoelaces into the ground, I push my knee into the pad, my glutes gonna activate, right? It gets super nice and tight, tight tush. <laughs> and then from there, what we're gonna do, part two is we're gonna start pulling that heel towards ourselves, right? So I'm pulling the heel this way. Now I'm starting to get a ton of tension, okay? From here, I'm going to push my hands to the, into the quad, it gets my rib cage down, even more tension, okay? Now I'm gonna ramp this up and keep driving, pushing, pulling all those cues in six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, and drop forward. And notice I'm not arching my back, I'm just dropping that hip forward and opening it up as much as possible. Now, you may not be able to drop this low, that's okay. Get what you can, right, because we, activated the glute release, now we get more of this range of motion in the hip. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're probably gonna just do one today, but if you wanna knock out two, uh, like two sets because you're feeling more wound up, definitely go for it, my friends, right? And remember, I wanna teach you guys some tools that like you can employ throughout the, the day and the week that will allow you to feel better, move better, perform better. All right, this is stuff you can do at work real quick, as you guys can notice. All right, so same thing. I'm going to push my shoelace into the ground, push my knee into the pad, butt cheeks on. I'm gonna start pulling this heel towards me. So hamstring here turns on. Hands go down and start pushing down. Now I'm contracting everything at the same time. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and and I'm falling forward once again as much as I can, keeping that back nice and flat, getting a nice release. Okay, so what we're gonna do also now, we're gonna do the same thing but with the adductor. So the way that that's gonna look like, I'm gonna face you guys, maybe do a different angle. So if I'm facing this way and I was in this 90, 90 degree position, now I'm gonna open that adductor up, right? So essentially what I wanna do is have my hip bone align with my knee and push my hips through. So a lot of times what will happen is that you won't have this kind of straight line. So you want to push that knee back and that's what's going to give you that adductor groin stretch right here, okay? It's that sexy tiger stretch right here. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing as far as like we're going to start pushing that back shoelace into the ground. So that's going to activate our glute here. I'm going to push this knee into the ground, okay? Now I'm going to turn, okay? So I'm going to start pulling this heel towards me but now my hip is open, I'm gonna to turn to the side, push down into my quad. Same thing, I'm pulling, pushing, pushing. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale. And now I'm gonna drop this way, right? And what that's gonna do, obviously, groin stretch, give me more range of motion in my adductors. I like to actually push my knee out a little bit too, so I get a bigger stretch here. Let it drop. It's also how I work on my Van Damme. If you guys don't know who Jean-Claude Van Damme is, man, you might have an issue. Greatest, one of the greatest martial arts movie stars of all time. 
but you can Google all that stuff. Anyway, the Van Dam. <laughs> so same thing on this side. Remember, the key here is the more tension that we create, the more release we're going to get, okay? So once again, I'm pushing that shoelace into the ground, pushing that knee into the ground here. So I'm creating a ton of tension in my glute, my abs are on. I'm going to push my knee out here, get some stretch, turn, pull my heel towards me, drive down, ah, six, five, four, three, two, one, and drop. Whew. Right, I want to drop. I, I like to push this knee out a little bit. <sighs> once again, we're doing this once, but you could also pause and do that one more time through because you're probably going to get more out of it. Right? You're going to get a little more uh, a say, relaxation out of this. So I'm going to go to part number two. Notice that I have uh, some tools with me today. For you, this can be a sofa, this can be a chair, it can be anything, right? So we kind of open up that hip, but we also want to open up, and I'm, I'm going to show you this, guys, right? Rectus femoris, right? I don't want to get too geeky here. But when your hip extends and your knee bends, right, there's a muscle that kind of runs across the knee too. And if you have knee issues, if you um, are tight when squatting, lunging, stuff like that, this is very, very important to open up per se. You know, some of the words that I use, I think they're just easier to understand without trying to be too smart and geeky here. Um, and so what you want to do for this one is, you know, like I said, if you got a couch, if you got a sofa, you got a chair, uh, I'm going to use the pad again. You don't necessarily need it, but what we're going to do here, once again, set up. Now notice, uh, you know, once again, this is, for some of you, you may be tight and you could only be here, right? That's going to start cre creating crazy tightness in the front. So I have good range of motion. I do these drills quite a bit. Um, so my foot's up here. And I'm going to once again push my, my quad down a little bit to get my ribs down. So what we want to prevent is from like being very extended. Okay. So we want to make sure that we're kind of rib cage down here. We're pushing down, creating some tension. And that in itself, you're going to feel a big stretch here. Right. You want to squeeze your butt cheek. And I would even go and lean back a little bit to where you get a big, big, big stretch here, okay? And usually I'd say, hey, hold this for a minute to two minutes, okay? This is a, another great one that can release low back tension if you got a bunch of low back tension. But what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna pretend, I mean, I've been talking to you guys for a little bit, that we've been here for about a minute to two minutes, right? If we haven't, be here for at least a minute, feeling that stretching, feeling that opening. Here's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna go and push my foot into the back of this pad for about 10 seconds, right? And start ramping down and pushing it down. All right, we're going to do this together. Get ready. Three, two, one, and push. Five, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And you're probably going to be able to get a little bit more range of motion now. Oh, yes. And then we just kind of hang out in this new position for another minute. I'm going to do it for about 30 seconds. Once again, you want to be careful about arching your low back here. Your ribs are down, abs are on. We're just hanging out. So let's say that was about 30 to 60 seconds. Come out of that. Usually what you'll feel if you do that is like this side now is so much more open than the other side. Okay. Once again, I know this is mobility number three. These are valuable drills to do you know, in dynamic warm-ups, in your daily rituals, and all those different things. So don't think that you can't mix and match them up, or if you find some that really help you out, you know, create out of the different three mobilities, create kind of a, a little bit of your own ritual, five, six, seven exercises that you can do in the morning. Uh, I think that's very, very, very smart thing to do, and you'll get, a, you know, you get the most kind of bang for your buck out of the stuff that, that you know is, is working for you. All right, so same thing here now, right? I'm pushing down. I'm kind of pulling this heel back a little bit too to create more of that, more of that tension in the front. So I'll just kind of chit-chat with you guys a little bit and uh, go up to that one-minute mark. So we're already feeling that stretch. Pay attention to like your left and right. A lot of times, you know, a lot of our clients when they come in have a big difference between left and right, and we want to get those asymmetries as close as, close as possible, right? So we'd actually, I, I prefer doing two minutes. If you have time to do like as much as two minutes here, all right, just breathing. And the thing is not holding tension, but just fully breathing. 
in Hell XL being, you know, decently relaxed. All right, so now we're going to push this foot back into the pad again. All right, start creating that tension and push and push harder. Push harder. All right, push the hardest. Woo, you should feel that front side stretching. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and break and lean back a little bit. Get a bit, bit more stretch. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, we're just going to hang out here. Same thing. We'll probably do 30 seconds. You guys can do longer, a minute, right? So I want to explain some of these things because uh, as I'm coaching you guys up, you know, it might be 40 minutes, an hour, and sometimes it's because I'm coaching more. And then you guys know so that when you're doing it, you know, the next day, you start getting a better hang of it and a better hang of it and a better hang of it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. All right. So sometimes, you know, like when we do this stuff too, uh, you know, here, we'll get people that have tight low backs, something's tweaky, you know, they'll come out of it and go like, holy crap, I haven't felt like this in so long. So since we got the bench here, we're going to do another drill. Now this one's going to be um, a drill. I'm going to slide up so you guys can get a little closer look. It's a T-spine. So T-spine is your thoracic spine mobilization with a dial. Now you can do this with a broomstick, with a band. You can do this with a lot of different things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys from the front, right? I'm going to grab, about, I'm about shoulder width apart, maybe a little outside, and then grab the dowel slash PVC pipe slash whatever it may be, ninja sword, where you got um, a little bit outside of your shoulders, right? And for some, you might, might have some tightness in the shoulders there, but this is kind of like the position we're going to have, okay? And it, you, you go down on the pad, and what we're going to do here is imagine that as you keep that neutral spine, so watch, I'm packing my neck, I'm creating that double, unsexy double chin here, and I'm going to push my hips back, and as I push my hips back, I'm going to curl, right? So this, this puts my lats and triceps on stretch, okay? Now, here's what's key here, okay, guys? I'm going to exhale as hard as I can. That's going to give me an even bigger stretch in the lats and the triceps because my ribs come down. And I'm going to take a big breath through my nose and I'm going to try to feel my upper back up. And I'm going to go again. And then I'm coming back up. And that would be rep one. We're going to go, about for, we're going to go for three, but you'd usually go about five here. So once again, I'm pulling back. Exhale. Inhale through the nose, into my upper back. And again. Come back up. Let's do one more. And we could talk about and work on, uh, I would say, a lot of um, the breathing stuff as far as like how to fill up our upper back, our lower back. And we will do that uh, in the future with, with other like I said, mobility sessions where we may be spending, you know, a whole session doing kind of like what I call positional breathing, which is kind of what that was and some of the other stuff that I showed you guys. Um, but for right now, for purposes of, you know, getting as much out of this session, like I said, when we exhale fully, our rib cage comes down. When we inhale through the nose, we're trying to fill certain pockets of air. So it might be our upper back, it might be our lower back, and that's going to release things, okay? So this next one, I'm going to put this pad underneath again. Uh, and like this could be, once again, for you, a couch, uh, a box, a chair. You know, you find a place that you can do the pigeon on, right? So uh, I know that like my hips can be a little bit wacky here. And I was talking about this before, right? So if you have very tight hips, your knee might be like this. And you could put a pillow under this, you could put a yoga block under this, you could put a foam roller under this, med ball under this. There's a lot of different things, right, so that it didn't stress your knee. Because if you try to push this down, you'd get kind of uh, twisting at the knee, which we don't want, right? So you could elevate that. For me, I don't need to. 
And so I'm going to stay in this position. And I feel the stretch, right? So you find that kind of like my, my uh, I would say my belly button is like in line here. Actually, I want to bring the knee as close to this as possible. And now I'm feeling a stretch here in my booty, right? So in this position now, I'm just going to hang out kind of like what we did on, uh, in that position of that rectus femoris with the foot back, okay? So we're just going to hang out here. We're feeling our stretch. Once again, I'd usually want to go two minutes here, you know, for purposes of this video. Probably going to go about a minute when I'm talking to you guys. I'm already feeling that stretch, okay? What we're going to do now as we do what we did last time was when I'm going to ramp up. So I'm going to push the back of my knee and the back of my ankle into the pad for 10 seconds. But then the second part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pull the knee to my chest and the, and the ankle to my chest and I'm going to kind of slide myself down into a little bit of lower position. We're going to do that twice, okay? So let's start pushing into the pad down first. Back of the knee, back of the ankle. So push, push harder, push hard as 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew! And I'm going to try to pull it up and then close this gap. I might actually even put this pad a little bit further back because I know that I can get down. Okay. So I'm going to close this gap. So I'm pulling, 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 pulling ankle. Ah, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. Okay. This is pretty uncomfortable. But that's what it should be. You should be into a bigger stretch right now. I'm still talking to you guys. Uh, once again, I'd hold this for about a minute. You know, we may go a little bit faster today, meaning I just want to give you guys the kind of like these guidelines, right? So you're in a new stretch position, deeper stretch position. We'd go for another minute. But we're going to do that same thing again, guys. We're going to do the same thing again, all right? So I'm going to start pushing the back of the knee, the back of the ankle. You might still be in the same position, guys. That's okay, right? Just wherever you can be. So I'm driving into the pad, uh, into the bench. Driving harder, driving harder, driving harder. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. All right. Pulling knee to chest, chest to knee, ankle off. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Whew. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit, maybe 20 seconds. Oh, boy. That's work. And I'm slowly going to come out of that. Oh, we. All right, so wherever you were at, slowly coming out of that. You know, I talked about it in mobility session two. It's good to walk around. Oh, so many things have opened up. Now, <clears throat> now the right side seems tight. But that's how it's going to be. When you do this drill right, it's going to open up one side. And then the other side is going to be like, whoa, I need to work on it ASAP. That's what we're going to do. So for me, that right side on, and, uh, is actually tighter, especially in this, in this position. So I'm going to have to modify. You guys can't see it as well, but I'm bending that knee a little bit more, right? So if you're really tight, once again, I'd have something underneath neath my knee here so that I could still push, still get the stretch, but keep my knee safe, right? Now, for me, I can, I can be here. So I'm going to still align myself. There we go. Actually, sometimes I, I'll even push my knee down because then that goes into my glute. So we're just going to hang out here. Let me reposition this. There we go. So sometimes you got to play around with it. And like I said, I'm, I'm being very real world right now because people's hips are different. There we go. I found my spot. All right. So I want to I want to reposition it until I feel it in my butt cheek. Right. I feel that stretch in my butt cheek. This one's going to be good. Meaning like, oh, boy. All right, so we're hanging out here. Remember, ideally two minutes. And like I said, this would be already uncomfortable, guys. Like, you know, doing mobility training and getting better at this stuff is work, right? Sometimes it's, it's, it's more, I would say, and some of the, the movements and the sessions and the flows have been uh, more kind of relaxing in a sense, right? But some of this stuff is work, right? But this is what makes you really a lot better. So if you want to have the best performance, you want to have the least nagging injuries, like you want to improve the way you look, feel, move, this is it. All right, so we're going to start pushing down. Back of the knee, back of the ankle. Ramp down. There we go. Harder, 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 harder. It's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, one. Remember now we're gonna pull, All right? Pull ourselves, so knee to chest, chest to knee, actively go. Ah, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, new spot. Not the most comfortable thing I've ever been in. Like I said, guys, we're working. We are working. So we're gonna hang out here for about 45 seconds to a minute, and then we're gonna do that one more time, right? But I know, I know this is gonna feel way better, like I said, because I'm feeling that in my glute. Sometimes it's gonna feel like the tension's moving from your back to your glute, right? Because it's turning on, it's activating, it's in a position that hasn't been in a long time. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. Remember, back ankle, back and knee. Ready, push down, and go. Uh, push harder, push harder, push harder, push harder. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, remember, we're going to go knee to chest, chest to knee. I'm going to pull myself down, pull my knee to my chest, ankle to my chest. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, a little bit lower. And hold it. I'm going to go for about 20 seconds and hold this deep position. Breathe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and break. And I'm slowly using my hands, coming out of the position. Ooh. It's all real time, guys. Like you're seeing the faces. You're seeing, <laughs> sometimes I'm like, oh, oh boy. All right, but man, I mean, already my back feels so much better. And uh, like I said, got a little bit of tightness because of certain things. So, all right, those drills in itself, I mean, you could go through that and be feeling pretty damn good. But what we're going to do now, all right, we're going to do some combo drills. This is more, this is going to be more flowy. Um, and what I mean more flowy too, not as challenging intensity wise. But definitely feel good, guys. Definitely feel good. All right, so we're going to go. Uh, this is a double whammy. So we're going to go into all fours position and I bring the, the foot out. So essentially, it's kind of like our adductor rock back, right? So my, my foot has to be in line with my hip, right? And I'm going to get my toe forward and I'm going to sit back with a flat back until I feel my groin slash adductor trying to keep that knee locked out. Now, once I get to that position, right, when I feel that stretch, I'm going to put one hand behind my head and I'm going to go elbow to elbow and open up. I'm going to hit that for eight. Exhale when you rotate on the way up. And break. Same thing, other side. <laughs> Sitting back, toe pointing forward, back is flat, so low back is flat, and we go. So when, since we're here in the all fours position, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the wrists a little bit too. So check this out. We're on all fours, but then I'm going to lean. Like, so I'm going to keep my elbows forward, feel all my fingers, and then I'm going to lean forward, keep my elbows nice and long until I have a massive stretch in the forearms. Okay. Now, once I have that stretch, I'm going to push into the ground for 10 seconds. Ready? We're going to push our whole hand into the ground and go. Push, push, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. Now I'm going to try to pull it off the ground. Now obviously that's going to be impossible, but it's the intent. 
So imagine trying to get the back of your hand up to your forearm. Ready? And go. Ah, lift it, lift it, lift it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax and try to go deeper into that stretch. Now we're going to do that just one time today. But you could do that a couple of times. Okay, so I'm just going to hang out here. You do that again, right? So I'd push down again, pull up again for 10, 10 seconds, and then go into a deeper stretch. And already you can tell I'm much deeper in that position. <sighs> Slowly coming out of it. Uh, there's a second part where we can turn these around. So we're not going to do these right now because we got a bunch of work still to do, guys. But you now pull back, right? I'd pull back, get that big, big stretch, and I'd do the same thing. I'd push down into the ground, try to pull off the ground, long elbows, and open that up. And like I said, if you have, uh, like you could pause right now and do a couple of sets of that. Because once you come out of it, everything will feel like kind of a little funky, but your range will be bigger. So you do a lot of typing. If you say, you know, somebody's told you you got carpal tunnel, like that stuff really, really can, can help out, right? So that's a fantastic drill for that. Okay, fantastic drill for that. Now, check this out. We're going to combo, we're going to combo, combo a little uh, stuff. And you know I love, love combos because we can get a lot out of it. So, we're going to be in our shin box position. You guys have seen the shin box quite a bit. And here's what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit more to the side. Okay. Now, because I, I want to show you this setup. So, from the shin box, if I just put my hands down in front, the back leg is going to come forward into a Spider-Man lunge. Okay. The front leg is going to kick back. So, it's here. Now, notice, like, I, I kind of jumped into that. Okay. I'm going to go back into that position. Okay. You can also just step into it. Watch. So this is the regressed version. Hands down. I'm going to go step back, step forward. Okay. So that's how I, I do the regressed version here. But if you're following along, you can do the regressed one and, and or you can just jump into it. So we're going to rock and roll, meaning I'm going to go into a Spider-Man lunge. I'm going to do a lizard reach, right? You guys have seen me do it. Come back to the shin box position and switch sides. We're going to do four per side, all right? So, hands down, <laughs> jump into position. This inner hand, a back leg is locked out. I'm reaching <sighs> all the way around, <sighs> coming back in, and back to shin box. Now you can switch with, without hands or put your hands back and switch it. So, we're switching. <sighs> <sighs> Same thing. <sighs> now the inside hand once again, lizard. <sighs> And back. And switch. So two and two. There's going to be two on the other side. Oh, almost got messed up a little bit. Real time, baby. You can see with the hands back. This is number three. Three on the other side. Reach, keep that back leg locked out. Last one per side. And the last one all together. Whew. Pretty nice. All right. So now we're going to go back to our position. Sometimes, you know, like when I do this and I'm uh, forgetting the names, <laughs> child's pose. Damn it. Right, so we're going to go to child's pose position, which is one of my favorite positions as far as like working out of, right? Because we can do lat stretches, we can do shoulder stuff. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to combine a whole bunch of things, right? So watch. So child's pose position, we're going to go butt up. So we're going to do our spinal roll from here. Butt's going to come up. I'm going to start pulling, pushing my heels into the ground, kind of like I'm stair stepping. And I'm going to roll the spine. Roll forward, chest open, 
<sighs> drop my hips. All right. Once I'm here, you guys are going to kind of look left to right. Tuck up. Let's mobilize that chin. Now I'm going to roll back. Okay. So I'm rolling back. Chit, chit. Tuck the chin. And now from this position, watch, I'm going to raise my shoulder up. One side. Other side. Again. And I'm rolling again. But up. Try to get a little bit more range. And roll. Drop those hips. You can move left and right here a little bit. Again, looking further behind you. Try to always get more range. Tuck. And we're rolling back. Tuck the chin around the spine. Again, lifting. Try to lift from the shoulder blade. Last one. And looking even further back. Notice how much more range you're getting. You can almost see all the way behind you. I can see all the way behind me. Tuck the chin. And coming back. Raise the shoulder. One more time. All right, we're going to stay in this position. Hand in the middle. We've done this before, but it's a nice flow here. Oh, for eight. Other side. So we're mobilizing that upper back. Now, check this out. We're going to combo it. We're going to start in a squat position. So I'm going to go standing up, which is going to go down into squat position, lower myself, push the knees out, chest tall. I'm going to walk myself out and then I'm going to go downward dog with a reach and reach past. So I'm going to feel my hammy, my upper back is rotating. Now I'm going to walk myself back into a squat. Then I'm going to go back into a crab position and snap through and reach. So I'm going to reach to the ceiling, push the ground away. I'm really pushing this hip that's on the same side as the arm to create that level of my hips and rotate my upper back. I'm going to come down, switch arms. Again, reach. Now this butt cheek really squeezes as much as possible. Coming back down, back into my squat position. And you should feel better now in that squat. Pushing the knees out, and again. Walk ourselves out. Downward dog, reach. Try to get some extra rotation, pull yourself. And again. And we're walking ourselves back. Squat, hold it just for a second, right? Posture up. And now we're going back. And again, reach. This butt cheek fires like crazy. Other side. We got one last one, guys. One last one. Whew. And walk it out. Pause. Go back into that bridge. 
snap through. Other side. Bring it in. And squatting up. All right, now check this out. That's it for today. And I don't even know where we're at on time, but here's the kicker, okay? If there's certain drills you feel really good about or you need to do more of, so we went three on all of these, then guess what? Do four, do five, right? Do as many as you need to. Now I said as many as you need to. Don't go too overboard on this stuff, right, on the reps because it has to be quality reps. But get a couple more in, right? Pause, do two, more, uh, two, three more reps on each side, right? Spend an extra 10 seconds pushing down, 10 seconds pulling up if you need to. Okay, so that's, that's what's key here too, is just giving you guys some like, uh, you know, rules, and, but, but also some boundaries as far as uh, what you're doing and what you can do. Because this is all about moving better and feeling better, right? And you can see some of these sessions go like 35, 40, 45, 50 minutes and, and more, uh, and it could go longer, but I'm spending more time also explaining what we're doing, coach, uh, coaching it up. And you notice that the reps are not crazy high, right? Eight maybe, but then we have three fourths per side because it takes a little bit of work and we're just getting a lot of quality movement in, right? So that's mobility session number three. And, and like I said, you're gonna see through month to month, week to week, uh, week to week, like you just wanna master these, right? You wanna make these rituals and you wanna master them, right? You wanna get really good at it. Don't just rush through them, be deliberate, right? Be focused, I'd rather you do less reps than do them better, okay? And this is forever, right? These are, these are like I said, these are our movement hygiene rituals that you're gonna keep plugging in. They're gonna make you, gonna make you train better, gonna make you move better. Like I said, the nagging stuff's gonna start going away. And this program is meant to be a program that is, like I said, very available. Like you can do it with minimal equipment, but you can get strong, muscular, conditioned, right? Move well, like have longevity, right? Have joint health, right? It's about the show and the go, guys. You already know that's what I believe in. So that whatever, however old you are, that you can, you know, you can be superhero-like for, for forever. All right, with that said, love and appreciate you guys. Thank you for doing a mobility session with me and I will see you in the next session. Peace out.